Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a very easy math question where we had to find the value of x. But lot of people could not understand how to do this. Okay. So please understand whenever you have two things. Let's say you have two fractions a upon b equals to b upon sorry not b but equals to c upon d. Whenever you have something like this. You can put it in one line. Basically, you can put it in linear form by putting it in nothing but just doing cross multiplication. Okay. Now, how do we do this? Okay. Otherwise, if you don't understand cross multiplication, you can even do it this way. Multiply both sides by D. And then multiply both sides by B as well. So what happens in that case is see the B's are cancelling here and the D's are cancelling here. So basically you got A D equals to C D. This is one way of doing. Otherwise if you understand this, this is the best way to solve these kind of questions. And that is nothing but for just do cross multiplication which is what A into D equals to C into B which is exactly what you got over here as well. So using the same logic, we will do cross multiplication over here as well. So here we have 30 into 3 equals to 10 into x plus 1. Okay. Now see here what you should do or you should try and understand. See at this step itself, you should have gotten the answer. Now I'll show you how. See, here ideally you would have what multiplied this, made it what 10x plus 10. Yes, that's not wrong. That is not wrong at all. Okay. But let's just do this this way and then I'll show you how exactly you can do it in one step. So your 13 to 3 gets you 90. And then what you want to do is just take all the numbers on the other side. So this is what minus 10, minus 10. So 90 minus 10 gets you what? I'll put it over here. 90 minus 10 gets you what? 80 equals to 10x. Now in order to find the value of x, you will divide both sides by 10. So you have 8 equals to value of x. Now coming back, like I said, at this point only you should have done it. Now why did I say that? See, 30 into 3 is 90. Okay. And instead of multiplying 10 inside the bracket, because see, eventually you want all the numbers on other side of the equal to divide both sides by 10. So this and this gets cancelled and this is 9 equals to x plus 1. Subtracting 1 on both sides, therefore I can say 8 equals to x. So you saw how easily you could do this at this step only. It's not that okay, this, this method is wrong. This method is also absolutely correct. But if you want to improve improve your speed if you want to be like really really good at math then some things like this actually has to be done orally now i'll show you how you can do this orally let's write this question one more time we have 30 upon x plus 1 equals to 10 upon 3 now the other hack over here what lot of people miss out is that see the when there are New, when there are two fractions on the either side of the equal to, the numerators can cancel each other out. Now, how you can do this? See, we can do it this way. 30 equals to upon x plus 1. Correct? This is what we got. This is 10 upon 3. Okay, so now I want to shift the variables on a, one side of the equal to. So, I'll multiply both sides by x plus 1. Okay? So, here... This got cancelled, so you have 30 equals to 10 upon 3 into x plus 1. Okay, now like I said, we want to shift the variables on other side of the equal to. So you divide both sides by 10 and multiply both sides by 3. So this gets cancelled and this also gets cancelled. Here also you will multiply both sides by 3 and 10. Divide by 10. So your this gets cancelled. Eventually you would have gotten 9 equals to x plus 1. Okay, so this is also right and then you just subtract 1 from both sides and you get the value of x equals to 8. Okay, this is also correct. But I will show you at this step only, at this particular step only you could have done it and it would have been so much easier. Like I said that see, <coughs> when you have two fractions 
on either side of the equator you can directly directly cancel the numerators and directly cancel the or rather reduce the denominators now if you look over here there is nothing no common factor between x plus 1 and 3 so we'll keep x plus 1 as it is and 3 as it is now if you see 30 and 10 i know that 10 completely divides 30 by 3 so this becomes 3 and this becomes 1 okay now next step is super easy like i said we'll just do cross multiplication so this becomes 9 equals to 1 into x plus 1 okay at this point what you get is 9 equals to x plus 1 and then just subtract both sides by 1 so you get 8 value as your x okay so i hope i have literally shown you three to four methods in this particular sum itself so i would request all of y'all to practice these methods in this kind of a diy okay so the diy is <coughs> 42 upon x plus 2 equals to 7 upon 2 please let me know your answers in the comment section and coming back to your original which question which was what 30 upon x plus 1 we need to see whether putting the value of x is getting you the direct rhs which was 10 upon 3 for the value of x equals to 8 so this becomes 30 upon 8 plus 1 which eventually becomes 30 upon 9 and if you see you can reduce this further because this is 10 za and this is 3 3 za so therefore this becomes 10 upon 3 so this became your rhs so i hope you've understood that how do you do these kind of questions please understand please understand students that whenever you have these kind of questions it's very important to put your final final answer in your question and check whether you are getting your rhs or not if you are not getting means you have done something wrong okay i hope this is super super easy and very very clear to every one now those of you who are trying to prepare for any entrances like sat act and are finding math a bit difficult then i can give you private tutoring for the same for all for this all you have to do is just reach out to me on the gmail address which is fast and easy maths at gmail dot com okay so if you want this 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 email address is available in the description as well i will completely help you to get your sats the math part of your sat is completely clear and will be with you in every step of the way okay so don't worry we can crack this very very easily okay so that's it for today i will see you in the next video